Hi guys! So we have another drug again for today which is called Janabinol and it is an antiemetic agent classified as miscellaneous agents. Janabinol, I am inside a capsule. Generic name is also Janabinol. The brand names include Marinol and Syndrus. My chemical name is Delta 9 Tetrahydrocannabinol. Upon drug classifications, I am antimetics in terms of therapeutic and cannabinoids in terms of pharmacology. In pregnancy categories, I am in pregnancy category C. In my mechanism of action, I am an active ingredient of marijuana and I contain a wide variety of CNS effects including the inhibition of vomiting control mechanism in the medulla of longata. Upon therapeutic effects, I suppress nausea and vomiting and I increase the appetite in patients with AIDS. Next is my pharmacokinetics. I Janabinol is almost completely absorbed after single oral doses and due to the combined effects of the first pass effect in the first pass hepatic metabolism and high lipid solubility, only 10 to 20% of the administered dose of me reaches the systemic circulation. Upon distribution, my volume of distribution is about 10 liters or kilograms. I have a protein binding of 97%. In my metabolism, I am metabolized primarily in the liver by microsomal hydroxylation and oxidation. These reactions are catalyzed by cytochrome P40 enzyme. I am excreted principally in bile and I am 50% excreted in feces within 72H and also I am 10 to 15% excreted in the urine. So, next is my indication. My indications is that I prevent serious nausea and vomiting from cancer, chemotherapy, when other more conventional agents have failed. I also manage anorexia associated with weight loss in patients with AIDS. Now for the contraindications, I have contraindicated in patients with a history of hypersensitivity reaction to dronabinol or sesame oil. Reported hypersensitivity reactions include lip swelling, hives, disseminated rash, oral lesions, skin burning, flushing, and tightness. Now for my adverse effects, my effects to our central nervous system includes anxiety, concentration, difficulty, confusion, dizziness, drowsiness, abnormal thinking, mood change, depression, disorientation, hallucinations, headache, impaired judgment, memory lapse, and paranoia. And for the eyes, ears, nose, and throat, we have the dry mouth. And for the cardiovascular system, we have palpitations, syncope, and tachycardia. And for the GI tract or GI system, we have the abdominal pain, nausea, and vomiting. For the integumentary system, we have facial flushing. And for my effect in the neuro, we have the ataxia and paresthesia. And other effects include psychological and physical dependence. Nurses have responsibilities. Before they give us to you, they must first assess for possible contraindications or cautions, like history of allergy to antiemetics like us, CNS injury, CNS depression, coma or semi-conscious state, hypotension or hypertension, active peptic ulcer, and current status of pregnancy and lactation. Second is, they must first perform physical examination for baseline data. Next is to assess the patient's neurological state. Next is to assess your neurological status, including level of orientation, affect, and reflexes. Next is to assess the cardiopulmonary status, including baseline pulse and blood pressure. Then inspect your skin for color and evidence of lesion and rash. Also, they examine your abdomen, including the liver, and auscultate the bowel sounds. They must also assess your complaints of nausea and evaluate emesis. They note the color, amount, 
and frequency of vomiting episodes. And lastly, they monitor your laboratory results, including liver and renal function tests. Surface responsibilities during the implementation includes assuring that the route of administration is correct and appropriate. Next, they assess you carefully for potential drug-to-drug -drug interaction when I am given in combination with other drugs. They also provide comfort and safety measures. They provide support and encouragement to the patient. And lastly, they provide thorough patient teaching. For administration or implementation, nurses advise patients about the daytime drowsiness and decrease attention and mental focus. So, use me with care if driving or in other activities that require strong concentration. They educate patients about the risk of physical and psychological dependence during excessive or prolonged use. Patients are also encouraged to adhere to the proper scheduling of medication. Patients are also encouraged to adhere to proper dosing schedule. And lastly, they instruct patients to report bothersome GI side effects such as severe or prolonged nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, and or dry mouth. This is Binger Napinol. Thank you for watching. Bye!